TikTok live beggars are getting out of hand. What are Mumus? Mumus are when every time you guys join the live and send a galaxy, the Mumus have to come out. So just join the live, send a galaxy, and watch the Mumus. TikTok Live has got to be one of the most interesting platforms on the internet. I feel like most live streaming platforms have some sort of theme to them. Like on oh, Twitter, why is you're he... most likely going to see somebody reacting, gaming, or just chilling with the homies. But on TikTok Live, you never oh, really you, know no. what you're going to get. You could just be scrolling. And then something like this will just pop up out of nowhere. <laughs> Like, why are these people? Bro, dude, doing the chicken dance? The chicken dance. Uh, the funniest ones are, are like, uh, the dude that's playing Minecraft, uh, placing down blocks in, like, this square. And, you know, every donation sends little TNTs to blow it up. Right? A and he's over here crying. He's bawling about not being able to sleep when he's only been live for, like, two hours. He's bawling because he can't sleep. Because people keep destroying his his blocks. But like I literally saw one of them go in. And as he was placing the last block down with 10 seconds. He quickly grabs his phone and sends in more TNTs. So he like, he, he's like paying himself to do more work. So he can cry more. Bro, it, it's unreal. Please, please let me go to sleep people sleeping in the middle of the forest doing the chicken dance like it makes no sense at all but hey that's just tiktok live i remember there was this one time i was scrolling on tiktok and there was this live that popped up of this woman reading but while she was yes reading, she was doing a lot of movement forward making it seem like she was getting the back shots of doom like i said you never know what you're gonna get i'm pretty sure we all remember the npc live epidemic last year where every it's still it's still an epidemic. There's still a lot of people. I mean, look, look at Miles Morales, and he's getting even even bigger because like doing it on Kai's stream and whatnot, which is so cool. Like W him for doing that. Two a.m. to ten a.m. is crazy to just be standing there doing an NPC. Everyone was acting like an NPC, bringing in straight racks. Like dog, Pinky Paul yes. was making two to three thousand dollars per live for saying "gang gang," ice cream so good, and yes, 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 while popping popcorn with a hair iron. If we all had the opportunity <laughs> to do that, I'm pretty sure we all would. Two to three k yeah. is some people's monthly salary, but the True. fact that she made that in only a few hours by just doing that, I'm not going to four hours a day. ASAP, no Rocky. But yeah, the NPC wave is when people realize. Yo, W Morales, man. I'm telling you, he he is putting in the work, bro. He deserves it. He deserves it. TikTok Live can be pretty lucrative, and ever since then, now TikTok is just one huge begging competition. Like True. people saw the racks that Pinky Doll was bringing in, and now people think that they can just hop on live and just sit there and beg all day. It's actually crazy. Can I get 250 more? Can y'all help me out and send me 250 more dollars, please? <laughs> Like, I feel like Twitch streamers get a lot of hate for being e-beggars. When they actually provide content, these TikTok uh, streamers We try. Terrible. Because a lot of these TikTok streamers, all they do is just sit there and beg all day. That's literally their content. There's so many beggars on that app that you could literally categorize them. The first kind are the hype beggars, where pretty much what they do, they just scream <laughs> at the screen, begging for donations. <laughs> One of the more popular hype beggars would be Jason Nash. He was oh my god, bro. He is on it daily. Sitting here doing those, like, whatever, the TikTok battles. I, I don't even understand it. He's doing this every day. Every day. And the only comments he reads are whenever you send donations. Like, he doesn't even read the chat or anything unless you send money. Like, why are people watching it? to be in david dobrik's videos and he used to even have a podcast with david dobrik that ended about two years ago and now this man is pretty much just a full-time beggar on a TikTok. panhandler bro go kate go cars 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 big mick 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 let's go jp Note, this man is 51 years old doing this. Yes, yep. a 51-year-old begging Bro. on TikTok. It is crazy. It's celebrities, man. They always end up on the TikTok begging battles, bro.
crazy. But yeah, that's like one variant of beggar on TikTok, the hype beggar, right? Another type of beggar on TikTok is the dry beggar. And pretty much what they do, they literally just sit and just try to guilt trip you into donating to them. They'll say things like, huh, I didn't eat today, or oh man, rent is coming up and I don't have the funds. Hopefully <laughs> someone sends me a galaxy. And it's not even- Yo, It's also the ones where they're like sitting there doing like puzzles and they're looking up at that camera. They're like, man, TikTok just, TikTok just doesn't recommend my live streams anymore. So I don't get any viewers in. And, and whenever I'm not, you know, getting viewers in my live streams, I'm not getting, I'm not making my money. I don't know how much longer I can do this it, with their like sad music playing in the background, like their little dogs, bro. It's crazy how, how TikTok is literally just becoming a begging platform in an ironic way. It's like these people are being dead serious when they say this. It's 20 hours for my interview and the Wi-Fi bill 44. Y'all gotta think about it. This is how I make my money on this app, like for real. Is y'all gonna help me or not? Cause I'm not even, I'm, I'm just trying to get to my interview. That's the main thing I'm trying to get to right now. Would somebody like to help me get to my interview tomorrow? I would appreciate it if someone would. And plus, I, this is not begging. I didn't. This is not begging. I didn't say please. I, like, someone would someone get me to my interview tomorrow? Huh? <laughs> oh. Say please in my sentence. Y'all not even my supporters anyway, so I don't know why I'm even asking y'all. What's crazy is this woman was actually a huge meme years ago. She was dancing in an Apple store. That video went viral, and now she is a full time beggar on TikTok. And it's not like Typical. this woman just hops on TikTok begging every once in a while. No. Is begging it daily? It's like this woman's full time job. She's one of TikTok's most notorious dry beggars. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I, I, I need, I need the foley. I need the foley. I need the foley. Hurry up. And the craziest thing about these beggars on TikTok what? is that if you don't send them money, they start to get mad. They crash out. They crash out. It's, it's literally the best thing I've ever seen. Like it, people have to like be purposely not sending them money to see these influencers crash out. It's so funny. How you gonna get mad at me for not donating to you? These dry beggars are the definition of entitled because what makes them think that they are so deserving of someone else's Yo. dollars for sitting on TikTok live all day looking yeah. like a bum begging for coins? If you don't get up and get a job, if there is one thing that TikTok has showed me, it's that someone could literally be on the verge of eviction. I'm talking the landlord is at their doorstep knocking on their door telling them to get out and instead of getting up and getting a job like any other human they being, start out the live. They're just going to sit on TikTok <laughs> and beg for gifts all day. It's actually insane. You could spend that eight hours that you spend begging for gifts looking eight for hours? a stable job. Bro, I have never seen these beggars stay on for eight hours. They're usually like two to three hour long streams of them just saying, give me money. Give me money. And then they end it, right? Just to do it all the next day. I have never seen no eight hour begging stream. That's crazy. But you want to sit dedication, though. begging on TikTok and get mad when somebody doesn't want to donate to you? It makes no sense at all. What pisses me off even more is that there's literally no content provided with these like begging lives on TikTok. When you look at Pinky Doll or NPC Miles, they are actually entertaining an audience. Yeah. Like even though you have to donate to be entertained, at least you're getting some form of entertainment through that donation. Even though some people might think what they do is stupid, at the end of the day, they are entertaining a crowd. That is why they're bringing in so much money. But when it comes to these grown adults sitting on Yo. live all day begging their life away with puppy dog guys not there everyone zero entertainment provided you can't bring in money by just sitting there and begging all day you got to provide some sort of entertainment for the audience speaking of that's why it's dry guys, begging there's also this other form of begging on tiktok that i like to call torture begging essentially what pinky doll and npc miles are doing but on a more extreme level for example there is a stream where basically this guy would cut off his dreads for every galaxy he gets and for y'all that don't know galaxies are worth about ten dollars another example of this would be this stream <laughs> where this guy would eat a raw egg for every galaxy he gets <laughs> and 
And another example would be this one where this guy eats a worm for every galaxy he gets. <laughs> Yo, nah. Uh. Basically, these dudes are torturing themselves for the bread. Like, the only one I can really understand is the guy who's cutting his dreads because yeah, he he's not to cut his dreads for a while, but he never really had any reasoning. And now TikTok gave him reasoning because he's getting paid to cut his dreads. Like, I can understand that and I can respect it. But these other ones where eating worms, eating worms and eating raw eggs for $10, oh. I'm not gonna lie. For me to put a worm in my body, I'm gonna need at least a ban. I'm not gonna sit here and eat a worm. I do for it for $10. 100 bucks. That is crazy. At least they are providing entertainment, though. This is high tier begging, you know? This isn't like yeah, the yeah. low tier beggars that just sit and cry all day. This is high tier. I'd rather have a dude eat an egg for a donation <laughs> than to just donate, and that donation doesn't really do anything, you know? Another type of True. beggar on TikTok are these, I'm gonna just say thought beggars. They're basically the same thing the as like torture beggars, except for it's more sexual. And usually before they go live, they'll always post like a TikTok saying what they're gonna do to funnel people to the live. I'm live on tiktok right now every time someone sends a quirky app the baby oil 60 and every time someone sends a galaxy app to do jumping jacks join the live and when i tell you the comments always kill me on these why are you oiled up are the yeah. girls really that bad bah <laughs> One of the more popular thought beggars is this girl named Autumn Rain, and pretty much what she does is Moomoos. Yes, I am on live right now, shaking my Moomoos for every single time that we get a Galaxy gift on live. So join the live and just watch Bro, this is so edited. It's unreal. It's unreal. Shake my Moomoos. Yeah, you heard that correctly. For every Galaxy, she's gonna shake the Moomoos. Now, I know what we're all thinking. Like, is this true or is this clickbait? Like, does she actually it's shake clickbait. the Moomoos if you donate a Galaxy? The answer is yes. Shake that thing, bada bada bada, shake that thing, bounce on that thing. It's crazy how her boyfriend is just sitting down there like, yeah, shake those moo moos for the audience. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say I feel bad. What a like, cut. At the same time, I know bro is getting a cut of this, so what oh, for is sure. there to be sad when you're getting a cut of your girl shaking her yitties online, you know? What's funny though is that sometimes these thought beggars, they don't even beg for donations. They'll just beg for viewers. Stop right there. Don't join the live. Every time someone joins, I have to stand up and show my level 10 gazangas and who is this who is this appealing to level 10 gazangas who <laughs> <laughs> Who is this for, bro? And I don't want to do that, so don't join the live. <laughs> Really, nigga? I was promised gazangas <laughs> if I joined the stream. I joined the stream and there's no gazangas. Where are the gazangas? Not that I want to see them, but for a friend, I just need to like do this research. Like, where are the gazangas? Another kind of live that's pretty popular on TikTok as of lately is this kind of live where this dude acts like XXX Tentacion. No, I cannot take a loss. Hey, I just be so. Hey, huh? What are like? My damn is what are like? What? Hey, huh? What are like? Hey, I just be so. Hey. Oh, what are they? What are they? My damn oh, God, I'm getting a headache. blowing bubbles on it at this point. This shit just sad. This has to be studied. X don't know, bro. Look, I know that the job market is tough right now. Trust me, I know. But when I say this, please listen. McDonald's and Amazon are always Always. Always. But don't go to Amazon. They will make you work in the warehouse with no bathroom breaks. It's literally slavery in there. Like, it's unreal. It is it is pure slave labor. Like you can't go to the bathroom because the bathrooms are fifteen minutes away or like five minutes away or something like that. No, it's fifteen minutes and you get you get your thirty minute uh break. 
but an application asap bro you as a grown man are sitting there in your room acting like i think mcdonald's pays more viewership on tiktok live that is the definition of dick writing i am sorry this isn't even dick uh, writing yeah. anymore at this point this man is just living on his dick like this man has a house with a moat and three boats on his dick this man has the x tats x voice x hair and even the x stutters down to a t all i listen to is x ski and all uh, oh yeah that's a, that's another person i forgot to mention i listen to ski a lot too that's that's that, that if you ask me my two best two two favorite artists x ski i still listen to like tupac I still listen to like Michael Jackson. I still listen to um. Like bro, zip up his pants when you're done sucking the soul out of that man. If bro, you might as well not zip it up. You're gonna be back down there in less than 30 seconds anyways. Live right now, that man would bust from the amount that you are gawking this dude. Pause. And if you thought that all of that was crazy, he even has the choker that X no, rock on stage during his performances. Like this is Hall of Fame dick riding. You are not X and you will never be X. Be yourself. Look Look, I know X was a huge inspiration to a lot of people in this world, but just because you're inspired by that man, that doesn't does not mean life. it doesn't mean that you have to become that man, you know? To copy his He's always writing down to a T and profit off of it on TikTok Live. That is weird. But yeah, that's pretty much the weird world of TikTok Live. A lot of begging, a lot of people trying to get a quick buck, and a lot of yeah. weird behavior. But I will say, it can be a cool place at some times. Like, I do think the NPC creators are pretty creative. Like, I think those are the yeah, some of them, yeah. on that app. But other than that, it's just one huge begging. Especially when they crash out. Real. Overall, don't go online expecting people to just give you money for no reason at all. And for especially, not, especially because you only see it happening to one person. You, you gotta remember that, like, before the dude was begging or the girl was begging, there was something that built up to this out there giving these people money who are just sitting here begging all day y'all need to stop as well i feel like y'all are the main issue like these people wouldn't be waking up every day begging like it's their nine to five if y'all weren't giving them money so y'all definitely need to stop this is getting out of hand and if you are going to beg online at least make it entertaining if i do you five dollars i better see you doing a backflip off of mount everest my boy but yeah that's just my thoughts let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all that being said this is going to wrap up the video if you guys made this far i appreciate you yeah yeah w w video man uh i i 100 agree he couldn't may see the moomoo's made the video i'd be pissed too man like you're promised something and then uh, it's just it's not delivered okay it wasn't delivered and so what what do you get out of it you clicked on the live you were clickbaited clickbait is an l